Hi, uh, it's been a while since I've posted anything in my in my vlog lately, uh, and I ran across something that I thought would be kind of uh, fun to share with you, and to give you a bit of an idea exactly of, of where uh, marketing and advertising is going nowadays. I was just riding the tube last week, and I happened across this sign: "Join the information revolution. Who controls uh, your access to the internet?" Oh, well, of course, that uh, really caught my eye. So I decided to go to their website at information-revolution.org and uh, started looking around in there. It looks like a pretty site. However, the more you look in there, the less it seems like a revolution and the more it seems like advertisement. If you look closely, you'll see that the site is actually run by ask.com and they're specifically targeting people to move off of Google and other search engines and use ask.com, uh, hinting at the fact that your searches are being indexed and who knows who's seeing your information and, and where you're going and we see what's happening behind the scenes, uh, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, if you look at the website itself uh, and go into the comments where people can actually type in messages and whatnot, you'll see that the Brits aren't as stupid as Ask.com thinks they are. They're very well aware. They've done the uh, DNS lookup on the uh, on the domain and uh, have found out, oh yeah, it's Ask.com seeking out uh, new customers. But anyways, uh, whatever the case, I thought it would be interesting to kind of put a message up about that uh, and uh, to comment a little bit on the one posting I put into their website about OpenDNS.org. Now, a lot of people don't realize, regardless of your search engine, your DNS is your domain name server. It is what changes the text you type in for a web page from something that's humanly readable, for example, Yahoo.com or Google.com, and converts it over to the IP address or the computer readable address, sort of like the telephone directory works. Some of the commercial DNS servers out there are taking malformed or incorrectly typed in website names, ascertaining what you're trying to find, and then steer you in the direction of their advertisers. There's other sneaky things that are going on too, but even more importantly, if you're concerned about uh, anyone finding out uh, where you're surfing to, what you're doing online, the internet, one of the best ways of uh, finding out what your online habits are and the sites you go to is looking at your DNS records. OpenDNS does not keep track of this and uh, it will completely liberate you from your internet service providers uh, from snooping on what you're looking at uh, as far as web pages go. This doesn't mean necessarily to go out and do naughty things, it just means that you want your privacy and you don't want to be tracked. Anyways, that was my two cents today, and uh, now that spring is starting to come up, I'm going to be getting the motorcycle out in a couple of weeks, I hope, and uh, heading out to Manchester for the Maybank holiday it's for the uh, Great British Bear Bash. It's their 10th anniversary. For information about the 10th Great British Bear Bash, go to cms.manbears.co.uk. That's cms.manbears.co.uk. UK. And I hope to see you there. Cheers.